Hey YouTube, how is it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Truly Divine's channel, what is up? My name is Amy. You are returning. Welcome back. Yes, I know I look funny, but I'm trying to get in the holidays. So with that, this is your reading for December 21st, which is a Saturday. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get started. So Oracle cards going with the um, angel deck today. The first card says relationships. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God and every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. So it starts with you. That's what I heard, all right? Like it literally, you need to not only love yourself, but you need to know like you are your own best friend at the end of the day. And the only person that you need to make you happy is yourself, all right? So the second angel card says there's nothing to worry about. You are safe and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. All right, guys. So whatever you're contemplating, whatever you're going through, just know that there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Everything is working itself out and that you will be fine. All right. So moving into your reading, I feel like what's going on today is that some of you are feeling betrayed. Like I feel with, especially with the three of swords coming up, it's like this feeling of heartbroken. You feel betrayed. You feel like someone let you down. You feel really lonely. Um, depression is definitely coming up as well. So some of you could be dealing with depression. Some of you are separating from someone or someone has separated from you. It's kind of like a relationship has ended because I feel a sense of, you know, a lot of crying, a lot of tears, a lot of anxiety, a lot of fears are coming through. So I feel like if you recently broke up with someone or someone has left you, this is the energy that I'm picking up. So this message would be directed towards you. I feel like with the three of swords, you are in your own head right now. You are in your own state. And I feel like you can't see the brighter side of the situation. You can't see why things have fallen apart. You can't see why this person has left your life. And it's leaving you feeling like, you know, no one's ever going to love you. That's what I feel like. But it's an illusion. It's not the truth. The five of wands, you guys could be struggling, um, having fights with people, having arguments today. Um, it's it's It feels like a chaos kind of day. Like, it feels like emotions are all over the place. And I feel like tempers might get the best of you because you're already overloaded with emotions. So what I hear is that, you know what? You're in this place where with the five of wands and then you got the five of swords right after that. So that just tells me that, you know, you're going to walk away from a situation that you know is not good for you. You clearly know that involving yourself with this person right now, there's tempers are high, emotions are high. And it's like the best thing you can do for yourself is to change the way you're seeing things, walk away and start standing up for you. That's what I'm hearing for today. All right. The hangman's here too. So some of you could be feeling trapped. Some of you could be, you know, in this place of, um, like you're stuck to this person, like you're bound to this person, like you, no matter how many times you leave, you always like connect, like you always come back. Um, it's a tough scenario because if, if you left this person, I'm just going to go back for a second. If you left this person, I feel like I don't want to say that you're going to suck and guess it, but I feel like something always pulls you back in. And if someone left you, that's how they're feeling. It's like they're, they're walking away because they're like, I can't handle this anymore. I can't do this relationship anymore. But they go away for a little bit and then something pulls them back in. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like something's pulling me back in. So this tells me that, you know, you guys may love each other right now, but maybe it's just a break. Maybe it's just a separation that you guys need. Maybe it's some time apart. Maybe you guys have been bickering too much or, you know, you're fighting too much with someone. And it's like, you know what, as much as you want to hold on to this person, I feel like the overall message, so I don't get too much into it, is that you need to let go. You need to release. You need to just work on you right now. Figure out what it is that you need in your life and let this person figure out what they need in their life as well. All right. So, because with the Seven of Pentacles coming up, and just that the card after that, you know, all of your hard work lately is definitely going to pay off. I feel like you're going to be in this place where you're going to start collecting what's yours. You're going to start collecting those rewards. And I feel like, you know, you're growing. So, every lesson that you're learning, you're evolving from, you're growing from. So, this is one of those lessons that, you know, you need to understand that maybe this person was in your life for a season. Maybe they were in your life for, you know, a period of time. 
but look back on what you learned from them. That's what I'm hearing. Like there, there is a situation that you guys have just ended or about to end and you spirit wants you to look at what you learned from that situation because in that situation, you'll be able to evolve. You'll be able to grow. But I mean, you are something good is coming through for you guys. Like you are going to get a payoff, whatever that could even be financially. You like, you even might have money coming in. You might win the lottery. Um, but yeah, there's, I, I do see, you know, a great sense of something good is going to come out of a bad situation. Okay. Because we have the, the chariot right after that. So that tells me that during this period, you guys are going to grow. You're going to evolve. You're going to have victory. You're going to gain control and focus on what's important in your life. You know, you're going to overcome these obstacles. It might take time. It might take weeks. It might take months. It might even take a year. But it's like you standing in your own power right now with the Ace of Wands. You standing in your own control saying, you know what? I can't let my past define me anymore. It was a lesson learned that I needed to learn. And now I move forward. I can't keep keeping myself stuck in situations that aren't good for me. You know, I have to go find what cost me. I have to go find a new passion, something that drives me, something that you know, makes me feel more like me. That's what I just heard. So it's, you know, what are you called to do? Because I feel like where you guys are going, where you guys are headed for 2020, it's an exciting time. You're going to have some exciting challenges ahead. There's new beginnings coming. You will have victory with it. You will have, have growth with it. Everything will work itself out. I don't want you guys to fear. There's really nothing to worry about. I feel like whatever this argument is, whatever this breakup is, whatever the situation is, know that it's happening. Know that it's making you better. You could even... Honestly, guys, I back up a second. I just heard you could even have finally gotten to the point where maybe even separated from someone for a while. And I don't want to say you put them on hold, but it's more of um, you had to really dig deep within yourself and figure out, you know, if that relationship was worth a second chance or a third chance. And I kind of feel like what happened is because you've had such a, a gap, like nine months or nine weeks or something to, to sit with yourself and, and think about what it is you truly want. I feel like you realize that even though you may love this person, it's time to disconnect. It's time to close that door. It's time to open up new doors. And I feel like there was a disconnection. There's finally a cut. So it's like you cut ties with someone, you cut ties with a situation, and now you're moving forward. You're moving into the direction that you need, you guys need to go. And I feel like it's a beautiful new beginning. And I feel like you guys should be honestly really proud of how far you've come. So with that, you guys have the turtle card today, which says be joyful and trusting. And it says... Choosing this card suggests you may sometimes put your shell around you to protect your sensitive feelings. This also prevents the good from coming in. Your guidance is to let this wall down and place light around yourself instead. Through the turtles, tune in to Jumbe and focus on abundance consciousness. You can call in love, prosperity, happiness, joy, and all manner of good things, but be sure to visualize others on the whole planet receiving this dream of bounty with you. Trust that the universe loves you and that everything will work out for the highest good. The rich and generous universe is ready to bring you plenty, so value who you truly are. And if so, wish to sacrifice yourself for the majority. Do so cautiously. All right? So that is what I have for you guys for Saturday, December 25th. Hopefully it resonates. You guys take care of yourself. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you guys again tomorrow.